Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. I wish you all a great start to the weekend. Um, we are going to take a look here at the uh, short term chart for Bitcoin. I covered the daily chart yesterday a few times, so not going to do that again um, because not too much movement is necessarily expected on the weekend. We'll see. I mean, happy to be happy to be impressed. But so far, after the market respected the 78.6 retracement here at this dip, on Thursday, we had a rally. I think when I made the last video, we were just at this point here. At this point, at the resistance level, which is the Thursday high. And I highlighted if we can get above that level, it might even trigger a bit of a short squeeze because there will be lots of short trades, um, at least assuming, you know, that there will be lots of stop losses here. But um, it could sometimes, you know, sometimes these similar patterns create some mini short squeezes, mini. Yeah, don't get too excited. Mini short squeezes when the price gets above it. And but you see it visually. This is a key level here around yeah, 59,900. Let's, let's call it like that. And the market could not break above it yet. OK, um, which wasn't necessarily expected, given that the targets for this third wave were fulfilled. Remember yesterday in one of my updates I highlighted to you that the price ideally would push a little bit higher. It was, I think it was around 59,400 when I put that statement out. The reason is, or was, that we wanted to get the third wave minimally to the 1.38 extension, which it did. And when it got there, I added this support zone to the chart, um, which is now between 59,000 and 58,120. So this was the support for a wave four. But since the last video, I added another wave count, just additional, just an additional wave count to watch. They both allow for upside trend continuation from the Thursday low, as long as we're holding support. The reason I added this additional wave count is that we're not dealing with an impulse to the upside. We're dealing with a diagonal pattern and diagonals can be interpreted in different ways. So I prefer to show you the two pathways that I see as likely. In both scenarios, however, we were watching for a dip into support and a reaction. Late yesterday, that was after my last video, I posted the, that was the last update yesterday for gold members. I posted that if this pullback obviously is unfolding, then a B wave bounce is due. And okay, then I explained that these are two different diagonal patterns, but the price reached that support area yesterday and we were watching for a B wave bounce. It dipped one small lower and then the B wave likely started. That's wave B of a fourth wave pullback or a B wave pullback. So let's go back to the live chart. This is then also this bounce that I was I was watching for. We had one short term, like 15 minutes. I mean, I'm on the 15 minute chart kind of. Yeah, we had we had a one hour candle go down into the support region after an initial reaction. And then the next one hour candle already started the B wave. I currently assume that this is the B wave. That means it's wave B of B or in the yellow count or wave B of four. The resistance area, by the way, is defined between 59,317 and 59,735 with additional levels in between. Um, as silver and gold members, you get access to these live charts. Then you always see if I make any adjustments, you get you get the um, the updated levels and everything. But what I want to point point out here is that we also had a trend line here, which the price now reacted to. I will slightly adjust this trend line now based on the latest high, but I'm just watching for this as additional yeah resistance para, uh, point or breakout confirmation level, you could say. Huh? So. It seems likely because the bounce from the support region was corrective that we are testing the lower support region. I mean, the, yeah, the bounce from the support region was corrective. And because weekends often are consolidations and because the rally is in three waves and it looked quite weak, I would say that at least a test of the support region is likely. It might have started already. Don't expect too much action on a Saturday. But then we would like to see the price get to around about 58,750, 58,490, maybe even 58,120. The 100% extension level at the moment is located 
That's one of the key targets, yeah. It is located at the moment at 58,444. So the pretty much where the golden ratio level is located. So that's what I'm watching for today. I'm watching the trend line. The resistance parameters are clear. Support is clear. So I think we are gonna spend a bit of time in consolidation mode. A first breakout signal that we're going really higher would be a break above the trend line. That's the earliest signal. But I can tell you that once we get above this yellow line, I think this could be a real breakout. That would be quite an achievement for the buyers. It was in one of the updates I posted a few days ago that I said, if the buyers can really drive the price, that was after the sell off that we saw on Thursday, if the buyers can really drive the price back above this level where the volume kicked in, the selling volume, that would be quite an achievement. And that's still what we need to see as further signal that we go up higher. But overall, we track our bearish scenarios through the support areas as well. So you've got the parameters there. Um, at the moment, I'm watching for upside continuation as long as we're holding above 58,120. Below that level, I do not necessarily see the Thursday low hold. Okay, so a break below 58,120 would definitely be a warning for something more bearish. But for now, we had Yes, three waves up, so we can't be clearly bullish, but we can watch the support parameters as long as we are above support. We can watch if the market can generate a five wave move up as per the white count or the extended yellow wave count to the upside. This is what I'm watching for now, right? But again, um, it and I hope it goes without saying that at the moment it's just a corrective rally overall from the Thursday low, so it can break down at any point. That's precisely why we're, why we're watching or why we're watching these support parameters, they tell us when the structure is starting to collapse. So that's how I see Bitcoin at the moment. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.